Is red light therapy the new fountain of youth? In this video, we're going to be talking about a very important topic in the regenerative and anti-aging space, and that is stem cells. And we're going to be discussing how red light therapy can interact with the stem cells within your body and whether or not there's any evidence to show that it can help regenerate and keep your body youthful. What's up guys, it's Nick Kutzer here and welcome to the Mitochondria YouTube channel. On this channel we discuss things all about light, circadian rhythms and how these things can be optimized so that you live your best life. Now in today's video we're talking about a very very important topic and that is stem cells. And for those of you who don't know, stem cells are basically undifferentiated cells within your body. And what that basically means is they are the raw material cells that are needed to make other cells in your body. So they can become skin cells, hair cells, even brain cells. These all start as stem cells which are these undifferentiated cells. It's very similar to if you think about the raw material like wood, that could become paper or it could become a table or a range of other things. But the raw materials are what are needed in order to build these specialized cells within your body. So there's a lot of you know, discussions around stem cells within our bodies because if you do stem cell therapy or if you can increase the stem cells within your body, it often leads to regenerative abilities. You know, often people find that old niggling injuries go away. There's also a very big market in the anti-aging you know, skin space where they talk about uh, increasing stem cells. And unfortunately in that market, there are plenty of lotions and potions that say they're going to increase stem cell production within your body. But these have very little to no evidence to actually back them up. So in today's video I want to discuss and show you a clinical study that was used uh, to try and improve stem cells within the body using red light therapy. So this study was published in 2022 and it was published in the Journal of Photobiomodulation in Laser Surgery. In this study what they did is they took 15 people and they had them doing red light therapy directly on their tibias, which are your shin bones. And they did this for 10 minutes while doing blood work before and after. Now the reason why they would target this at your bones is because your bones are actually a place where stem cells are made. So your bone marrow can produce stem cells which is these you know, undifferentiated cells which can then move throughout your body to areas where they are needed. Now what they found in the study is when they looked at the before and after blood work, within two hours there was three times the amount of circulating stem cells within the participants who did these red light therapy sessions. Now these were also not short lived, they found that these uh, higher levels of stem cells stayed in the body for two to four days after just a 10 minute session. The researchers concluded saying these cells may now home in on any impaired tissues to improve their function. Now one thing I must mention is in this study they were using very high powered lights and they were using the near infrared spectrum which is the longer wavelength that you find in some red light therapy devices. Now if you wanted to get these same benefits you need to be able to reach the tissues within your bone so that your body can produce these stem cells and you can have these regenerative effects within your body. Now in order to do that you need to have a device that A has these uh, near infrared spectrums of light and B is high powered enough that it's going to penetrate deep enough. Now what's really important you need to look at the irradiance of the device but a lot of companies won't give you the distance they were when they take these irradiance measurements. And this is often because they have highly underpowered devices. What they end up doing is they take their measurements right up against the device and then they just tell you what the irradiance or light intensity is, but you have no idea what that light intensity is when you are six, eight, 10 inches away from the device. So if you wanna get these kind of results, make sure that you look for a device that is transparent with their light intensity. All of the mitochondria devices will give you multiple light intensity measurements between six, eight, even up to 60 inches away. So you know exactly what kind of light dose you're getting and how you can tap into these kind of benefits. If you have any questions from today's video, then please feel free to drop them in the comments section below. If you enjoyed the content and you're not already subscribed, make sure that you subscribe so that you don't miss any of our future content. And if you enjoyed this, please make sure you smash the thumbs up button. That just lets us know that you enjoyed this video and it fuels our fire to make more videos like this for you. Again, if you have any questions, please drop them below. But otherwise, I hope that you have a fantastic day further and we will chat again soon. Cheers.